welcome to Microbiology Basics. Today we'll discuss the plague. The bacteria that causes the plague is Yersinia pestis, which is a zoonotic bacterium usually found in small mammals and their fleas. Yersinia pestis is a pleomorphic gram-negative bacillus. The plague is a vector-borne disease and Yersinia pestis gets around by the gut of an infected flea. Humans get infected when bitten by a vector flea, unprotected contact with infectious bodily fluids, or inhalation of respiratory droplets from patients with pneumonic plague. Which brings me to the type of plagues. Most common is bubonic. Secondly, pneumonic. And thirdly, but if it get, reaches the bloodstream, septicemic plague. Firstly, I will discuss what happens when a person is bitten by a flea causing bubonic plague. A papule may occur at the site of the flea bite. Organisms might migrate through continuous lymphatics to regional lymph nodes. Once in lymph nodes, they thrive and survive within phagocytic cells. The inflammatory process creates swollen, painful bubos, and that is where the name bubonic comes from. Now let me explain pneumonic plague. Uracinus pestis enters the lungs through direct inhalation. That is what is called primary pneumonic plague. A person will acquire it naturally by inhaling respiratory droplets from infected humans or animals such as a cat. Marked intraalveolar edema and congestion of lungs are common features that occur. Other common features are tracheal and bronchial mucosis hemorrhages, bossy of pneumonia along with medium and large bronchioles. Often with bubonic, the organism will enter the bloodstream causing molten organ involvement. Thirdly, septicemic, which I'll briefly touch on, is the bacteria enters the blood and proliferates and can cause septic shock and causes necrosis and disseminated intravascular coagulation. An important note is with the person with pneumonic must be treated within 12 to 15 hours after onset of fever. The incubation period is with two to four days. Treatment is antibiotics like septomycin, highly effective if used early within 24 hours Strict isolation is recommended. Thank you for watching. Click the link in the bio for more.